You are probably familiar with making chia pudding with milk and yogurt, but what about juice? Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we are passionate about supporting health and nourishment, and it all really begins in the kitchen. Today, we're going to be making a turmeric carrot chia pudding. Let's begin by taking four to five carrots and juicing them. Whether you leave the peel on or off is completely up to you. However, if you can't find organic carrots, I highly recommend that you peel them. We are looking to get about one cup of carrot juice, one inch of fresh turmeric root. Turmeric root is well known for its anti-inflammatory properties. Next, we're going to juice one inch or more of fresh ginger root. Don't worry if you don't have fresh ginger or fresh turmeric root. I'll give you substitutes in just a bit. Now to spice up our juice. First, I have one half of a teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, another anti-inflammatory, and one sixteenth to one eighth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper that may support healthy circulation. If you didn't have either fresh ginger or turmeric root, you'll want to add in one half of a teaspoon of the ground version. If you'd like to add just a tad of sweetness, I'm going to add in one half of a tablespoon of pure maple syrup or your preferred sweetener. And if you're not really sure whether to add in some sweetener or not, I would suggest waiting until right before you're ready to eat your chia pudding and then drizzle on some sweetener if you'd like to. Whisk together all of your ingredients. And now we are ready for our nutrient-packed chia seeds. I'm adding in one quarter of a cup. And if you happen to have more than one cup of carrot juice, you may want to add in an extra tablespoon or two just to help thicken up the pudding. Whisk again and then let it sit for a minute or two. Pour into a glass bowl or jar and you'll notice that the chia seeds have sunk to the bottom, which is why you'll want to whisk once or twice more. This also helps get rid of any lumps. Cover and then stick your pudding into the refrigerator for four hours or overnight. Our chia pudding is ready to give a taste. I topped mine with a little bit of coconut cream, some cinnamon, and turmeric. I think that is delicious. I absolutely recommend adding the coconut cream. It just adds a little bit more flavor. It also, the fat is going to keep you feeling full longer. And I definitely like the cinnamon on top. Really delicious. The ginger is subtle. Uh, the turmeric is also really subtle. And this is so healthy. What a great way to start your day. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, keep having fun and experimenting in the kitchen, and I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.